Hey everyone, I'm back out again at Ari Lake and uh, got a couple of things for a new backpack that I got. Um, the new backpack I got is a Shimoto Action X70. Um, it's one that has a camera insert and uh, makes it a little easier for me to carry around camera gear mm -hmm. when hiking, backpacking. Uh, so I'll use it. I still have the Mountain Smith and we'll use it from time to time when I'm not out trying to uh, record video or taking photos. Uh, but anyway, one of the things I got for it was a, an Optimus um, camp, camping uh, cooking kit. And um, this is one of the HE versions of uh, Optimus stoves or Optimus uh, cooking cookware. And of course, I got the canister uh, stand for it. And yeah, so far it's uh, I've used it a few times already, and um, so far it's been great. The old cookware I had I bought back around uh, 2014 or so. Uh, it's stainless steel; it'll last forever. It's a uh, Ozark Terrell, I believe that's the brand uh, from Walmart, uh, but. The cookware is stainless steel, and um, you can probably see that in the, the video I did on the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove. Uh, that, cook, that set of cookwares in that video. Um, this is much lighter. Uh, the other being stainless steel, it, it's got some weight to it. So since the Action X70 backpack is one I'm going to be using to carry camera gear, I'm already going to have a ton of weight with me. Um, so I'm trying to shave off a little bit here and there wherever I can. Uh, I still have the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 and I'll, use, I'll keep that in the uh, Mount Smith backpack. But this is, this is compact, uh, it's lightweight and I did get the Optimus Crooks stove with it. Um, so I'm just gonna take it out and show, you, show all of you. In case any of you are curious about the Optimus cookware. Uh, so one thing to note about this, uh, this handle doesn't lock down on the base part. Um, so just lift up and stick around. Um, so it doesn't lock, this doesn't lock down onto the base part. And also got the screen for it uh, the area that I live in uh, there are times when there's a lot of wind <laughs> and the last two times I used uh, the stove that's in here I ended up uh, having to turn the fuel up more than I normally would uh, because of all the wind so I did get the, the windscreen. Uh, it's, it's lightweight, you know, and can wrap around this. Uh, the way it works is this flexible piece of aluminum here. Just flex it out. The bottom piece, well, you see that big round circle. You just wrap it around the stove, and once it's kind of secured to the stove, you have your windscreen on, and you just turn in the direction. Uh, that's appropriate. I also got the, also have the um, Optimus uh, piezo igniter. It's worked just fine. I not have any problems with it. So this is the Crook stove. And it comes in this little pouch. And it folds up. So, see how it folds? So, here's the, uh, the holder to uh, turn the gas up and down but this black piece holds down or pulls down and it pulls down turn this upright and then it spring loads uh, back up this is this is it unfolded 
and on the top. Just pull those out. And it's good to go. There's only a little bit of play in it, not a whole lot. Um, just make sure that's up as far as it'll go. And it don't really have much play in it. Also inside this, you can put in uh, your fuel. Does fit in there. It's turned upside down. This just fits on top of here. And put the igniter on top. And I still got plenty of room. Let's see. Put that in there and that that down. You can see the lid would have been that high, so. You still have plenty of room inside here. In fact, if I go on a long trip and I'm worried, you know, if I end up worrying that I might have a problem with the stove, I can take the MSR pocket rocket uh, with me. I can just stick it on top of all of this. Uh, but, you know, I have no reason to think that the stove's going to fail on me. But uh, for those of you who won't back up, if you do have this system, um, you probably can. You can't stick the MSR pocket rocket save in here. I haven't checked to see if I can put it in here with the case and its piezo igniter um, but even outside the case I could still put it in here. Sorry, we have bugs coming out now <laughs> so uh, just making sure yellow flies aren't landing on my arm. Anyway, uh, this is the bottom. You can see how you got the aluminum around there. Uh, it does heat up water fast. I've noticed that. Regardless of what, as long as these are standard size, so uh -oh, whether you get Optimus fuel or some other fuel, yeah, it's going to work with the stand. Yeah, as long as it's these canister, these types of canisters here. Um, so, with this, It'll end up fitting around, and you just need to make sure you can still adjust your fuel uh, once you have that windshield on, or windscreen on. So, this is it. Just fits on top of here. So, there it is. There we go. Windscreen stays folded out. So that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, of course, stove fits on top. And there's no problem. Yeah, I mean, I've got room around the edges here, around the windscreen and this, uh, there's a gap, a slight gap. Um, so we shouldn't have any problems with wind anymore. <laughs> uh, so this windscreen, you see where it fits, and uh, you should be able to put it on any of these canisters, regardless of brand. Anyway, while I'm out here, I'm gonna heat up some water uh, to cook something and yeah. Mountain House uh, chicken teriyaki. And also, after that, I'll heat up boil some water and use in the S Pro. This is a um, ultralight version of S Pro's uh, coffee press. Heat up water and get something to eat. Kind of go show you that while it's uh, heating up water. Provided the yellow fly stay away. <laughs>
I also forgot to mention I picked up an extra spoon. This is the Optimus uh, camping spoon. It has a piece here that allows you to uh, extend it. It can come out, but it's not intended to do that. Just push the button in, slides down to a more compact size, but it extends to a longer size so you can get down into a, a bag and you can kind of see how how long the spoon is collapsed oh. I've used this a couple times it's worked out fine If you haven't already done so, consider subscribing and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.